Good? Yep. All right, so today we're gonna to be making a very simple dish. This is called tzatziki. Tzatziki is very popular in Greece and it's used as a dip, as a complement to a main dish, on a salad. Heck, you can use it on anything. It tastes great and if you like garlic, this dish is for you. So we're gonna be starting off with seedless cucumbers, baby cucumbers. We're gonna soak them in some salt and let them drain, let the excess water. So if you take a look at them, they're very wet when you when you, when you you shred them. So you wanna get rid of that excess uh, water because what happens is when you put the salt in the cucumber, it drains all that moisture from the cucumber and then also when you make a tzatziki, it's not too watery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice big bowl, put the colander in the bowl, and I'm gonna take another bowl. But first, I'm gonna take about half a teaspoon of salt I'm uh, using sea salt. I'm gonna mix it up with my hands just a little bit. And I'm gonna take this bowl here and I'm gonna place it right on top and squeeze down. And this way, it will put some weight and get that juice out. Now, after you're done pressing down, you're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes if you don't have much time. If you have more time, let it sit overnight and let it soak. We're gonna start off with our yogurt. Now, Greek yogurt, just get that. You don't have to get any other yogurt. Um, it's nice and thick, it's great. Uh, and this is the part where I forgot my spoon. And we're back again, I got my spoon. So, it's gonna empty out the yogurt into our bowl. Now, you can use 500 grams for you know, your serving. I like to make a big batch, so I'll use double. That just means your ingredients double. Okay, that's one. You can keep these for wrapping up your leftovers. You know sometimes when you go into the fridge and you're like, oh, I've got some Greek yogurt and you open it up and it's like, Phew. it's like butter chicken or dal or some sort of dish in there. And you open it up and it's like, Phew. Okay, so up next, we gotta use a one lemon. The trick to this, and I've showed this in my previous videos, you squeeze down, this releases all the juices from your lemon. Cut it in half. Now, if you don't have a strainer, that's okay. We use our finger as a strainer. And we just place your finger down, squeeze, and see how my fingers act as a... Oh, I guess it's not really working because I've already lost four seeds. But usually this kind of... Oh, there goes another one. But... <laughs> Fail? It's a... Just squeeze. The lemon threw me off. Oh, spoon. Another spoon. I forgot. I'll be back. Spoon for the seeds. You don't want to be eating your tzatziki and then you get a big chunk of, chunk of seeds. So, this will give it a nice little zest. Lemon zest. Zest is of lemon. You like it garlicky? Then you use more garlic. If you don't like it garlicky, then you use less. I like a lot of garlic. So I'm gonna use about four cloves, maybe five, I don't know. Okay, so garlic, stick a knife on the garlic and smash. This just opens it up, and I'm sure you've seen this on TV. I'm just pretending I'm on like the Food Network and like I'm teaching you guys something because, you know, just Food Network, if you're watching. This is what I would do. I would be smashing garlic for you guys, just like a boss. Yeah, that's how you smash garlic. You just put your frustration out. Yeah, that's how you do it. Anyways, now you can buy the garlic that's already been peeled. Um, I don't like that because that's usually from China. Racist! <laughs> if you have garlic that grows in Canada, pick it up from Canada or North America. You know, support. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our garlic. I feel like I'm gonna need more garlic, but... Now there's a trick when you're chopping garlic, and that trick is, when you're chopping, it's flying around everywhere, right? So, what you wanna do is you wanna take some salt, and you're just gonna sprinkle some salt on there. That's it. What this is, it binds the garlic together and when you press down that coarse and the salt, it just kind of becomes like a nice little paste. I learned this on TV. It's not my trick. But it looks pretty cool, right? Run your knife through it once more and bam! Into that tzatziki. Now, because I like garlic and I want it to be a little bit more garlicky, I stay away from salt. I don't put too much salt in it. I substitute with garlic salt. 
gives a nice little punch. I'm gonna put about half a tablespoon, okay? And then I'm gonna take about a, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, traditional uh, tzatziki doesn't ask for onion powder. I like to add it in. You don't have to, but it tastes fun. Okay, black pepper. Now, very important, freshly cracked black pepper in your tzatziki. It just brings everything together. Nice little punch, but it's nice freshness. You know, everything in this ingredient is, is fresh, so make sure you have fresh ground pepper. It's not that hard. Now, what I like to do is just add some black pepper there on the black pepper. Now, you want to cover it because you're going to start jumping out. See that? It's not too coarse. It's nice. Tastes great. Let's just throw that in there. So, now what we're going to do is take about a half onion. Now, traditional in, uh, tzatziki doesn't call for onion. Um, I like a little bit of kick of the onion. It just kind of brings a nice punch into the tzatziki. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just chop it up nicely here. I don't know how Jamie Oliver does it. He like makes everything so like, just gonna, just gonna take some onions and just, we're just gonna chop it. Don't need that, we don't, we don't need that. We're just gonna, Take the onions, we're just gonna chop it up nicely and And then you just kind of Jamie Oliver style. Shit, it's been a mess. So next thing, dill. Um, half a cup, quarter cup, whatever you want. Now I love the, the smell of dill. It's just so fresh. And it smells like oh. I don't know what to compare it to, but it just smells so delicious. Uh -huh. Delicious. I like dill chips too. Um, dill chips are nice. Now this is about maybe a half a cup, and I just throw that right in there. If you need more later, you can. So, that is done. Tzatziki, look at that. Look, it just is, you got onions, you got garlic, you got the lemon juice, you got the dill, and now the best part is just we're just gonna give it a nice stir. Now, for best results, let this sit in the fridge for at least an hour. So just so your flavors can, oh, we forgot to get the cucumbers. <gasps> Ta-da! Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, and what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna press it down one more time. Now, I'm gonna show you how much water has come out of this. See that? You don't want that in your dish. So this is good. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the cucumber, we're gonna squeeze it with our hand. And it's gonna squeeze. I don't have to go to the gym anymore. I just do this all day. That's as much as water I'm gonna get out of these suckers. Cause... Okay, we're just gonna give it a nice little mix. That looks beautiful. I can put that on just about anything. Yeah, just gonna give it a nice little try. It does definitely need a little bit more lemon, a little bit of salt. And for the salt, I'm gonna use Himalayan salt. I got two spoons of salt. Ooh, there's a seed in here. Okay, so nice mix. You can taste that fresh dill, that lemon. I can actually put more garlic in here because I love garlic, but we won't. That's what you don't want is that seed. So make sure when you're straining your lemons, use your hands or a strainer. Guys, easy to make tzatziki. Tastes great on everything. I just made some salads, I put it up there. Put on top of those salads, it tastes amazing. So, if you want this recipe, youtube.com dot Rick's Good Eats, ricksgoodeats.com, and you can go on Facebook, check it out. If you like it, share it with your friends and families, because this year is all about tzatziki. And uh, if you have any questions, email me at ricksgoodeats at gmail.com, uh, or you can tweet me at Rick Mataru. And um, guys, happy summer. This is great. It is great weather. I am going to eat this whole bowl of tzatziki on my patio. Good eats.